Greetings. What we're looking at here is the interface for PHP MyAdmin. It's the front end for the database, my database, 158 tables here. And don't let all these buttons and numbers and words frighten you too much because uh, if you can master this interface, you can master databases. And mastering databases is one of those key key skills that you will want uh, if you have any intention of becoming uh, proficient in web and web technologies because the world is essentially a database uh, as far as a webmaster is concerned. So let's take a look at uh, how we can begin to squeeze out some information. 158 tables, thousands of rows, that's a lot of a lot of information. If you don't know how to uh, dig it out, then it's just much numbers and numbers. Oh, yes, for my friend Bob. Now, Bob is a common character in many of my questions for my grammar uh, lessons that I used to give. So I'm going to do a search for all of my questions that have the name Bob in it. And we could do a search for uh, any number of things. But since this is one that I know that we will get uh, a hit on, at least 20 or so, it's a good example and it's simple enough so that you can begin to come up with your own search values for your own database. Okay, uh, there's the search results for Bob, at least one of the words, 20 matches in modal quiz questions. We're going to click on Browse and pull up the results of that search. Last time I did this, uh, research, search took a couple minutes to return, but this one came back very quickly. Uh, point f zero point zero five eight four seconds. So that's quite quite nice. So you can see that my Bob questions. Uh, there's about twenty of them, and what I have here is the ID of the question, 2, 4, 5, 30, 344, 4, etc. Any one of these questions I can edit. You can see the little pencil there for editing. And I can delete. Uh, and deleting is usually a uh, useful thing, especially when you see duplicate data. Uh, this is why we use databases, is so that we can identify, quickly scan down um, our data and get rid of redundant data. And I see two, in fact. This one's redundant, as well this one redundant. So I'm going to go down to the bottom, and at the bottom you can see that the values that I've checked, I can delete them all in one fell swoop. I'm going to do that right now with selected I'm going to delete and through the magic and mystery of SQL you can see the SQL is generated PHP MyAdmin is very nice about training you as you go along by showing you the SQL that it wants to use to perform the tasks that you've told it to so delete from MDL quiz underscore questions where ID equals 7 limit 1 and where ID equals 16, limit 1. Yes, I click yes. Questions will be deleted. Fortunately, PHP 2.6 doesn't have a progress bar, but when the results are returned in under uh, zero 0.5 seconds, it's not too long to wait. So there it is. We've uh, done a search. We've deleted redundant data, and we have begun to master uh, PHP, MyAdmin, and SQL. Have at it. Enjoy yourself. Uh, the web can be a lot of fun uh, to manipulate once you understand the tools. The tools themselves are pretty, pretty easy to use, and they get better all of the time. Oh, did I mention, by the way, PHP, MyAdmin is free. If you're paying for a database, you're paying too much. If you're paying for a database manager, in terms of uh, applications, you're paying too much. MySQL and PHP MyAdmin are both free. Thank you very much for your time, and happy computing.